Alright guys, hey, welcome back to Skyrim, or should I say Cyrodiil. Um, this is where we're at. Um, I made, way, made my way back up and around to the Hunter's Shack. I should have gone this way. It would have been faster if I'd gone this way. But um, I ended up coming up here, cutting across, and dropping down. And it's much later than it was at the end of the last episode for, because of that. It's much later in game. Um, in case you guys have forgotten, we're attempting to reach this location here to, um, no, remove that, please, to kill Wretching Cornelius, um, because there seems to be a sort of dead zone here where if we enter this area, anywhere along this area, um, I'm assuming from, like, right here to about right here on the river, and probably down further... And about up to here. Um, the game crashes. And I can't figure out why. And it's the weirdest freaking thing. Um, it's got to be a problem with the mod because I don't have any location mods installed that would be interacting with this area. Point being, I'm still trying to find a way to get near enough to Wretching Cornelius to engage him in battle and complete this quest. If I cannot, I will of course be forced to, um, to wait until the mod... Uh, the Beyond Skyrim Serial mod comes out in its entirety and then complete this quest then. But I'd really prefer not to have to do that. So, what we're going to do today, and I tested this once off recording, what we're going to do today is we're going to try to head down this way, draw him up from his location by attacking from a distance, and fight him somewhere where we are beyond the dead zone. It should be possible. If it doesn't work, though, I'm gonna be freaking annoyed. Let's let's put it that way. I'm gonna be freaking annoyed, but I will move on. I will move on to something else. Um, you'll see me quick saving a lot because I'm I'm paranoid. And we're not that far off because I have been down this way though. I do know that there is this location here. We're going to go ahead and check that out while we're down this way. Because why the heck not? Um, that seems to be a conjurer. And they know I'm here, they just don't see me yet. So let's go ahead and get a Betty up front. Try to draw their attention, maybe. Now, they're definitely coming this way. That was weird. Okay. Um... Go, Betty. Go get them. These are Namira cultists. That's interesting. Take that. Those just aren't valuable enough to really warrant it. Alright, um... Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty decent amount of damage. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Is that not my Atronach there? Okay, that's not my Atronach. Okay, I thought that was my... My Betty. Alright. Let's get closed wounds. Oh, I don't have enough magic. Oh, shit. Because I've been hit, being hit by a freaking electricity. Dang it. Alright, let's see if we can get to this mage. Take him out. Up, up, up. Hey, come here. Come here. Jerk. Boom. Be gone, son. I'm still taking some pretty good damage, though. Is my Betty still alive? I don't know. I don't know if that was my Betty or somebody else's Betty. But, um... Like, honestly, Johan... Doesn't particularly like Namira cultists. He doesn't really have any specific beef with them, either, but... I mean... I mean, I guess he did use a spell, but... They, they behaved, um, very aggressively immediately after encountering him. He finds that a bit suspicious. Jeez, that's creepy looking. Really creepy looking. Alright, let's get healed back up. Get my Conjure Betty back out. Quick save again. And, um... I mean, I don't know. If I can't if I can't get to Wretching Cornelius from here now, 
I'll probably just come up with some in-character in excuse. Like, there's a magical barrier preventing our approach. Or some other thing like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... I mean, I haven't fully tested this yet, but I'm thinking... If we get close enough to be able to see him... There's also a, a ruin down there that I wanted to explore eventually. That I'm not going to be able to now. I'm hoping that if I can get close enough that he's able to see me or my summon and aggro on it, I can draw him up. That's my hope. So let's let's see what happens. Because, I mean, obviously the land is loaded down there. It's just... It's odd. I don't know what's going on with it. How close are we now? We're very close at this point. How far can I get Betty down there? Airish, it looks like. Come on. I'm trying to get her right on the border there. There we go. Is that going to draw his attention? Because there's people down at that camp. I know they're there. Just a quick save again. Uh. Okay, now, now they're actually loaded in. Maybe now that they're actually loaded in, I'll be able to draw their attention. Maybe if I fire a arrow down there, that'll help. All right, let's try to hit one of his, atta his attack dogs first of all. No, I didn't quite get him. All right, let's see if we can draw him up here. Come on. Come on, come on up. Yeah, I know, I'm getting tired, it's fine. Can't believe I'm actually attacking with a bow, just because I don't want to go down there and risk my game crashing. That looks like the guy there. So if we take him out, we should. We, the quest should be over. Alright, he's healing though. It's like potions, because he's got a two-handed weapon out. I don't see how he could be healing with magic. Alright, um... Is that a person there? Yeah. Oh, come on. Return to... Alright, so that is all we had to do, is just kill Cornelius. The rest of these, these characters don't actually matter. And it looks like the dogs aren't actually coming up to fight. So... I guess I don't have to kill the dogs, which I'm... Stop moving, you idiot! Oh, they're... Yeah, of course they're cutters. Right. I don't like the cutters very much. Come on. My aim isn't that bad. There we go, finally. Oh, come on! <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Failed to capture Black Soul, that's fine. It's because I don't keep black soul gems on me. Alright, so we... Oop, yep, ran into the rocks. Alright. This is very steep right here. So we managed to pull that off, thankfully. Let's get up a little ways from the dead zone. Um, because I'd like to avoid it if at all possible. And, um... Go get my normal stuff back out. And then... Put that away. And then let's go get teleportation out. Assuming it's not already equipped. It is already equipped, okay. And let's head back to Bruma. Thank you very much for uh, watching this episode of Cheesing the Game with AJ. I very much appreciate your viewership. No, I'm kidding. We're obviously going to continue the recording a little bit longer. Where is this? Where is this person now? I'm actually... I'll go ahead and tell you guys this now. I'm actually not planning on staying in Cyrodiil much longer. Um, I will, of course, come up with a reason in character to return to Skyrim, as I did make a pretty big character decision coming here in the first place. Um, I, I won't feel like... Oh, hello. I won't feel like... Something I can help with, sir? No, you're fine. Um, I won't feel like um, I can reasonably return to Skyrim without making an equally big character decision 
MCM registered two new menus. What two new menus? Um, what, what? Holidays, wet and cold. I don't know why it does that with little dollar signs, but whatever. Um, simply knock. It was simply knock. And shoot, I don't, I don't know what the other one was, but one of them was simply knock, which is one of my favorite mods of all time, and it just recently got ported over to the uh, special edition. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm planning to return to Skyrim soon. There will be an in-character reason. I've actually already planned for how I'll justify Johan going back. I just want to let you guys know, the Bruma chapter is almost over. Can I help you? Um, I was, I was going to spring it on you and kind of kind of do it as a twist and surprise you guys, but that's kind of rude, unless it's like a positive twist. I don't know, maybe returning to Skyrim is a positive twist. What do you think? What do you think, Faden? I don't know. All right, let's get into the restful watch, but it looks like this lady is in here now. How can I assist you? There she is. Cornelius. Is he dead? He's dead. Then here's your payment, as promised. This is the part where I go seek my fortune in the Imperial City, I guess. All right, I really like your uh, armor. It's very nice. And it doesn't exit okay. dialogue automatically. Interesting. So I wonder now if she will actually leave the, the town and will... Thanks again for killing Cornelius. If you hadn't, I'd be lying under six feet of snow right now. No problem. Um, if we'll be able Can to I see her you? later in the Imperial City in the full mod, that's going to be interesting to find out. Don't get comfortable, guys. We're leaving. Come on. I like how Mule was the first one up because she is the least likely member of our party to enjoy herself here even more than Johan. What are you out here for? Something special? I look up, Traveler, and thank St. Martin for the blue sky, for without his sacrifice you would instead look upon the skies of oblivion. I mean, I wouldn't. Not not actually, because... Until next time. Because, um... Things would be so different, I probably wouldn't be alive. Nope. Sorry, but, uh, you know. Nothing. Hmm. Enchanter. You can make this old blade spit fire? Uh, that is a no. probably, but I mean, I don't really have the time to do that right now. Uh, okay. Can I, I help remember, you? A life full of adventure is the only life worth living. Okay. I've been playing around with my look sensitivity, too. What is it? I'm not really it? sure I like the setting Hello. I'm on right now. Hello. Quite an agreeable venue. Uh, dear God, everybody can stop talking you? to me, please. Welcome to the Gerald View. What can I get you? Ah, uh, room. Ah, you did. Your yes, yes, yes. Tool. Good, good. Rooms it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. Do do yeah, I don't. I don't care, dude. The room's just this. View. I know where the room is. I've been staying here for like a week. What can I play for you? At least. Yeah, I'm also gonna be going back to. Uh, was it this room? Yeah, I'm also gonna be going back to Einheeds. I think. Um, I've been playing with R and D for a while now. Let and, me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, sure. I'm, I've been playing with R&D for a while now, and I really like R&D, don't get me wrong. Um, R&D being realistic needs and diseases. But having played with both of them back-to-back -back like this, um, I actually think I needs is better. It's just a little simpler, lighter weight. I'm probably going to switch back to it. I mean, just FYI. It's not really it's something I need to tell you guys, honestly. Alright, yes, of course I'm hungry, and of course I'm thirsty. I do understand that that's how passing time works. Mm -hmm. Have some of that. No longer thirsty. I'm still hungry, though. I'm trying to eat these smaller things, so I have fewer things in my inventory. Is that... Okay, yeah, that notification was fresh. Now I'm full. Okay. Let's go ahead and quick save again. I don't know why I'm still quick saving. It's not like there's any dead zones Can here. I, I would have found them by now. Need. I said that, and then when I tried to load back into the rest of the inn, my uh, game crashed. And then I, I'm like, well, Skyrim sometimes crashes on loads. It's, it's Skyrim. It, 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 sucks the, it sucks like that. So I loaded the game up and tried it again. And it did it again. I don't know what's going on, but this is starting to get weird. I'm right behind you. Um, again, I can't, I can't imagine it's a problem with 
any of the other mods I have installed because none of them should affect this world space at all. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's an instability in my saves, which I don't I don't see how there could be. I I I've, I've checked them pretty well. I don't know if there's an instability in the game that I'm only like the mod, this mod that I'm only now encountering or what, but let's just say I'm actually pretty okay with the idea of not staying in Bruma much longer. The more I the more I experience this weirdness. So today, let's see, what do we want to do today? Um I I need to go kill those guys. There that's close. And then I wanted to head this way and go and Shoot, I have the goblin leader too. I may not do the goblin leader quest yet. I may wait until the full release of the mod to do that. Because that, that just sounds like a standard gradient style quest, you know? But I want to go here and retrieve this heirloom and then um, come down here and uh, talk to these Talos worshippers, see what I need to do to get them to be a little more subtle with their Talos worship. I don't, know, I don't know how difficult that's going to be, and I'm probably not going to do this yet either, because that's down near that dead zone, and I don't want to risk another crash. I, I still don't know why I would have to do that, because I'm like 99% sure I did that already. I don't know, I might do that too. But, um, all things said, depending on how long this takes, we may be in the last couple episodes of Bruma, because the more I think about it, I want to have some stuff to do in this region when the full mod comes out, assuming that it won't add more quests here in this region. And from what I can tell, there's not a whole lot more to do. Like, without being... Like, like trying to avoid spoilers as much as possible, I have been looking around on, like, various pages that discuss this mod. And from what I can tell, I've done, I've done pretty much all of it so far. Or already, rather. Get my weapon out on the road. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's oh, that's part of your job, though, buddy. Now, um, yeah, I know, I know to be cautious, though. Yeah, um, I do think it's kind of odd that I fought that wretching Cornelius guy, or I guess Mjolm mostly fought him, right? Um, we, my party and I, fought that wretching Cornelius guy. And I never actually looked at his face. Didn't didn't try to get close enough to to um, loot him or anything. I just decided I didn't care. What is that pointing to? That the cave. Okay, so it's it's not an, it's not a zone quest marker. That's weird. It's um. It's weird. Is there like a? There's like a little exterior area to this. I'm gonna quick save. Because for all I know, it'll crash as soon as I log up here, because I haven't been here yet, and can't tell for sure. I, I've not noticed this before. So this is like the slums, I guess. We're so close to Skyrim. Surprised the war hasn't spilled down here yet. You'd be surprised, buddy. What is this? Um, somebody else's shack. Empty shack. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how happy I am with Respect the law. this look Respect sensitivity. Yourself. Empty shack. So they've got quite a few empty shacks. And I can't imagine these shacks are all that expensive. So why are there homeless people in the town again? Just out of curiosity. Um, is this stealing? This is not stealing. I wonder who sleeps Still here. here. Drinks so much. Because depending on why they're drinking, I might like them. Alright, it's I mean it's owned. It's not like this is just here for What can for, I do for um, friend? For flavor or whatever. There's a cave there too. Hmm. Alright, let's just cut across right to Capstone. That's what it was called, right? Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Didn't want to look like an ass. Like any more than usual. I'm, I'm okay with looking like an ass for the normal shit that I do. I just don't want to look like an ass more than that, you know? 
I have something to do an Apple Watch too, don't I? That I never actually did. Maybe I'll do that while I'm up this way. I have the option of trying to get them to hire that bard too. But I imagine that would just be... They, they, I imagine they, that, that they'd just kill him. And frankly, as much as I'm not a fan of his, I, I don't, I don't want to do that to him. It seems rude. And it seems to go against Joan's character. I don't think that's the kind of thing he would do. Hmm. Here's the marker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And, um... There's no choice to talk to them, I guess? Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm, when I appeared like that, considering that we had an optional quest objective, I assumed I'd be allowed to talk to them, but... I don't know, maybe it's just a bug in the, in the quest or something. Maybe normally we would be allowed to talk to him. Die, please. Okay. Did one of them have the thing that I'm here for? Where are you at? Come here. Uh, take that. Yeah, okay, he had it. Okay. That was easier than I expected it to be. I honestly thought there would be more to it than that, but alright. Heal myself up, do some restoration training, get Conjure Betty back out. Let's put my weapons away now since we're heading into Apple Watch. Be kind of rude to walk into town with my weapons drawn. Um, where's the quest for that? So I failed that. I honestly don't care though go talk to the stupid guy again. Um, oh, I'm supposed to go talk to him, too. Let me turn that off. Hmm. Grab that, or put that back on. Maybe I'll save that for when I come back, since it is right up there at that fort. You know? Like, have that be the first thing I do when I come back for the full release of the mod. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. This is a nice little town, Apple Watch. Quick save again. It was weird. I saw something out of the corner of my eye there. Um, here's the person we're supposed to talk to. Hey, how's it going? You, um... We work hard. And we prosper. Yep, you have a great beard, by the way. The cider doesn't make itself. Um, yeah, obviously. Um, I was sent by Hyortra, um, for Stantis, apparently a shipment of cider is overdue. Ah, yes. Sorry about that. Hey, Bond was feeling a little under the weather recently. Didn't help, he was run ragged. Here's the cider for Stantis. Take it back to him. I'm sure he's arranged payment for you. Yes? Um, I guess. I don't know. I was, honestly wasn't paying attention. This is the kind of thing I don't really mind doing for people, especially considering that I was probably going to explore up this way anyway. Alright, so... Apparently that's... I'm, I'm carrying the entire shipment in my backpack. That's... Alright, I'm going to quick save again as soon as that visual effect ends. Where am I going with this now? Is it the Gerald view? It might be the Gerald view. If it's the Gerald view, that could be a problem. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to zone back into the Gerald view. It's, it is the Gerald view. <sighs> Crap. Let's quick save here. Maybe the guy leaves at some point, too. But I would have no way of knowing that or even testing that, really. Okay, so I was able to zone in through that door. That's still weird, though. Alright, here we go. Come. Warm yourself by the hearth. Yeah, okay. Um... Hyortra asked me to fetch some overdue cider from Apple Watch. Thank you very much. You're a lifesaver. Hyortra's you know wife, I guess. Apple Watch cider is one of our most popular items. Here's your coin. You've more than earned it. And, in fact, here, take a bottle. On the house. Thanks, buddy. Alright, um, gold, seven gold septums. Nice. Very nice. 
Alright, so no problem there. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the issue is. You, you're that guy. How may little Dartacto help a big one such as yourself? Mm, we're, we're basically the same height, dude. Alright, so, it is now uh, 10, 20 in the morning, roughly. Still uh, early enough, I think we could probably set out um, east from here and try to get to at least one of those quest uh, locations today. I was going to say donations. Quest donations for some reason. I don't know why. I'll go ahead and stop by this guy's house first, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you at, dude? Oh, you're literally right there. Come to speak to the best bard in old Tamriel. Dude, shut up. I have your loot. Wonderful. You have served your purpose, Rube. And for that, I am extremely surprised. I don't Go like now, you. And know that you are tolerated by Renard, even told. What about your being a noise nuisance? Because I am about this close to being willing to just kill you right here. FYI. Oh, yes. That is significant. I will cut out the nighttime rehearsals and keep them for the morning. That is what you wanted, yes? Do not speak of this again, lest you lose my tolerance, Rube. Hmm. I mean, I like him. He's a, he's a, he's a great character. But Johan, man, Johan is sick to death of this guy. Where are we heading? Trying to find that Argonian now. So I can tell him I finished the quest. He's all, he's always right here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You're back, and that infernal screeching is gone. You convinced him? Yes. Renard should bother you no more. And if he starts to bother you again, hit me up. We'll sneak into his house and kill him in the middle of the night. Cause I'm that annoyed with this guy. Ah, this is a relief I've been yearning for for months now. My most sincere thanks, honored friend. Mm -hmm. Why are Who is you bumping into me? With Reynard, I went and asked around town. <laughs> donated coins That's awesome. That is such a that is such a good conclusion to the quest. Um, you need it more than I do. Keep it. Truly, I this this moistens my scales. Uh, no one would has which this is not which scales. What can I do with this gold, Traveler? What uh, could I do with it? Ah, uh, start a new life, why not? I... Yes. Yo, know, you're really ruining you. the moment. I will. I will go to Leowin and begin a new life. Perhaps even return to Black Marsh in time. Thank you, honored friend. Thank you. You're very welcome. But Guys, seriously, here, don't be jerks. Take this old keepsake of mine. I don't need it anymore. <sighs> Iron Battle Axe of Fear, thanks. I don't have any use for that at all, but I appreciate the sentiment. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna quick save again. Um, now I also wonder, will we stop seeing him in Bruma? And will we eventually see him in Leowin in the full release of the mod? It's pretty interesting. I'm, uh, the more the more I play of Bruma, the more I really want the full release of the mod, because um, it just there it, it seems like like assuming that the the ex cutter lady really does go to the Imperial City and um, I, I already forgot his name the that Argonian guy just then really does go down to Leowin. It sounds like they've really planned out not just big stuff for the full release, but little stuff that you can do too. Little continuity things between this this limited release and the full thing. And if that's the case, that's that's not only really good writing planning, but it's really good advertising for the full thing. Because just out of curiosity, I want to um, I, w I want to play the full full release of the mod now. So I can see if that's true, if that really is going to be the case. So, um... I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. Oh, were you sad about your friend? I shall honor your friend by taking their taking his legs and at some future date eating them. 
yeah, point being, releasing this to kind of whet our appetites for the full release of the mod was an excellent idea, and I'm loving every second of it. I'm trying to remember which which episode of Broom I'm actually on. I think I'm only on like nine or ten or something. So this will be like, assuming that I do that, this does end in the next couple of days, or a couple of episodes rather. Um, this will pro probably be the shortest chapter of my Skyrim Let's Play. I'm not like I don't really divide these into chapters, but at the same time I kind of do because I've, I've got the different um, thumbnails and the different intro and stuff. I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud at this point, I'm trying to figure out what would be the fastest route over there. So freaking far away. Looks like there's stuff down along here though. So I I can probably cut around here, come along here, and then up. So I will put a marker here for now. And then that'll signal where I'm when I'm supposed to go down. Go south. So I need to keep going up and around. Stay on the road as much as possible. There may even be a road over there that I just can't see. Because the Skyrim map is trash. There's a cave there. I wonder if I should at least discover it. That's weird. Mm, whatever. Um, yeah, I might as well. Why not? Mark it on my map. Freeze Wind Hollow. Don't really care, though. I don't know if that is that a old location from Oblivion or a new location. I don't even freaking know. Oblivion caves were so not memorable at all. So I don't. I remember a few of them, but not many. What the hell are you guys doing over there? Freaking weirdos. Like I remember a few of them, but I remember them more for like vaguely what quests were attached to them than I remember their names or. And like where they were, roughly, than like their names or um, anything like that, or their in like their interiors and stuff. Like the cave interiors in Oblivion, from what I understand, were mostly um, programmed by like one one or two guys, which is why they're also like generic. Because not only was were they programmed by like one or two guys, but it was it was one or two guys working at Bethesda. Um, like, under Bethesda time crunches, and like, that's, that's, that's never a good thing, man. Alright, let's see. Should probably head down here. Is there a way down here? Looks like, looks like I could have gone down the road and it would have taken me down here. Okay, that's fine. Here's something. Oh, we're fighting something. Okay. Goblins. Alright. That's fine. Goblin skirmisher with a bow, apparently. It's weird. Um, it's a goblin trap, it looks like. Anything of interest up here? Dead person. That's rude. Jeez. It's pretty nice clothes, though. Alright, well. Not. Oh, that's a, that's a goblin chest, isn't it? That's cool. Okay. Goblin staff of familiar. Don't really care. I'll take the venison though. I mean, it's always good to have supplies. That was interesting, I guess. Random goblin camp. Do these guys have anything on them? Goblin wax. Honed goblin crap weapon thing. Alright. Hi, Foxy. I guess it was fairly neat that, um,. Those goblins attacked, and I didn't even really hear them attacking. 
It's like, obviously, if, if someone was ambushing you, they wouldn't want you to hear them. They wouldn't, like, yell out or anything. It's another cave I'm going to go ahead and mark on the map while I'm down here. kind of want to come back later now. And, um, Yalti's Refuge. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I may just be confusing it with a name from a vanilla game. Um, I kind of want to go back now. And, um... It looks like a mountain lion over there. And, um... Look up the names of all these places and see if they are locations in Oblivion. Then, like, find maps and then go inside and see if they even bothered to kind of keep the the same layout in these caves, or if they just did their own thing with them. I'm very curious about that. See if Betty can handle this on her own. I'll frickin' faint all. Don't... Don't fall down in the gorge, you frickin' idiot. You didn't even do anything that time, you Her dialogue's weird. What'd you have? Anything? Not lying meat. You know, why not? In their teeth, too. I probably have a bunch of new alchemy ingredients I haven't tried lately. I haven't been doing my alchemy lately. Let's see. Mountain lion teeth. Restore health. That's pretty good. Is that all that I had that I hadn't that I hadn't tried yet? Scamp skin. Ugh. Ravage magica. Okay. Um, that was it. That was the only thing. I, I assume there would have been more, but... I guess I just I've been doing a better uh, bleh, 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 a better job of checking them as I went than I thought I was. That's lasting a while. That visual effect. Weird. I'm I'm not even sure if I'm going the right direction. I'm just kind of following the the road. I think I still am though. I think this will take me back up and around. I'm getting kind of hungry. Might as well eat something that's not that crap. Watch cider. Drink some apple watch cider. Why the heck not? And, I don't know, bread, I guess. Just because I'm traveling. Bread's a pretty good traveling food. We're getting pretty far south at this point. The uh, climate's changed pretty radically. Oh, it's a campsite. That's probably where the Talos worshippers are. That's probably their marker. How far out are we from that? No, we're still pretty far out from that. So, that map marker would be something else. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, is something going on, or am I, am I a little drunk from the cider? Um, okay. No voice. Toll collector here. I'm afraid it, this was a premium highway, and as such, passage requires a reasonable little toll. How about it, friend? Yeah, fuck off. We'll see if you put up this much of a fight when you're lying dead on the ground, eh? Come on. Alright, fine. It's weird, man. What'd you have? Nothing. Alright, you stood literally zero chance against me and should have should have known that just from looking at me and my friends, but alright. Yeah, I guess I'm a little drunk from uh, from the uh, from the, the cider because the sky probably shouldn't be purple and the deer probably shouldn't be glowing. And that's probably what that effect up there in the top right corner is too. Drunkenness. It's another cave. Let's see if we can get up to. Yeah, I'm definitely drunk. Okay. Stumbling around like a freaking idiot. Let's go mark this cave on our map, too. Silver Tooth Cave. That one. That one sounds vaguely familiar, too. Mm, I need to quit bumping into my freaking keyboard with my freaking mouse, too. It's gotta be annoying, you guys. There's another ruin up there that I haven't discovered. Quick save again, just because I can. Maybe I'll try to make my way up to that ruin and discover it too while I'm out. Depending on how far away it is, how far off the path it is. A lot of foxes in this area. If it's got a marker, it probably has an interior. 
So I don't know if I necessarily want to like explore it today. But it couldn't hurt to at least uncover it. There it is there. Um Okay. That was stupid of you. I'm not drunk anymore, at least. There are a lot of dead things here. Holy crap. That's probably from the bear, but just in case. I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. What what ruin is this? Sador. I, I actually remember this place. From Oblivion. I remember the name. I don't like remember specific details, but I remember the place. Vandal's fighting somebody, it sounded like, but I don't know that I honestly care. Am I going the right way? I'm probably not going the right way. Can I, I'll try to climb up this mountain here. See if I can get up that way. Since I've kind of lost the road at this point. Uh, that was a genuinely bad idea. All it did was get me back to the road. Combat music stopped though, so that means my friends should be catching up to me relatively soon. Mm. It's mine. Still on the right path? Yeah. It looks like we're actually going to come to this place first. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll stop at that place first. This is a long journey, though, man. Though, to be fair, I, I remember this area being pretty bleak and taking a long time to traverse in Oblivion, too. So, this is definitely, definitely accurate to the nature of the... Um, this this part of the map. Why did that that marker pop up up there? I don't freaking know. Whatever. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up on the Talos Worshippers camp. So probably I'll probably end up stopping there first. After, after all, pick up speed a little bit. This mine here. Let's go ahead and uncover that too while we're in the area. Got in mine. Yeah, okay. Hey, Betty. How's it going? Looks like the camp is right there. Let's go ahead and go talk to these people. See if we can convince them to tone down their worship a little bit. As it is bringing trouble to the people of Bruma. And, um... I mean, I understand they want to be able to worship. And if, um... Sorry, I was scratching my leg there for a second. If, um... Captain What's-His-Face were asking him to stop completely, I would be against it, but it's not what he's doing. So I'm hoping they'll understand. Oh, that traveler? Who are you? That's, um... Are you with Thalmor? Sophia's Tell voice actress again, now. if I'm not mistaken. Um, my name is Johan Abbott, and no, I'm definitely not with the Thalmor. Then I suppose I can afford to stow my weapon. Hmm. I hope for your sake you're not lying. You're wearing a robe and you have a crappy Besides, iron mace, sweetie. We've nothing to be ashamed of. Go on then. Ask whatever you like. Come and go as you please. But we'll be watching you. Okay. Um. That spell looks dangerous. Keep it away from me. Yeah. Okay. Um. Tell me about yourself. I've been faithful to Talus ever since I was first old enough to understand the tales. The Thum, to ascend to divinity. My grandmother would tell me the stories, Tiber Septim's great deeds, and his rise to godhood. A true inspiration. I actually agree with everything she just I said. I believe in heroism. I believe in the resilience of men, not the supremacy of elves. And I'm not about to let a damn treaty change that. Good, because no one's asking you to. Um, uh, how'd you guys, that's a stupid question, because obviously they're out here because their worship's illegal. Like, I, I get that this is a sensitive subject, right? And some people are all like, some some Skyrim players are all like, religious freedom should always be upheld, the, the Stormcloaks are right, specifically because they fight for religious freedom, among other things. And I, I half agree with that, right? But there's a time and a place. And right now, 
pushing back against the Thalmor is just stupid. It's not a good idea. And so Johan, as a character, being from Cyrodiil, having having seen the political bureaucracy in motion, understands that and is trying to find a happy medium where the all of these peoples who are opposed to the Thalmor in their way of thinking can um, live comfortably. Um, Farewell. And may Talus preserve the Empire in the months ahead. Okay, fine. Can 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 kind of live their lives up until the point when it is appropriate to push back, and and it, and pushing back can actually succeed. All right, let's keep talking to this lady. I'm Era. I lead the congregation here. We worship Talus, and by the divines, we make no bones about it's actually it. Actually, part of the problem. Um, what can you tell me about your congregation? I guess, like, specifics. Not much to tell. We reject that fancy treaty the Emperor signed with those Dominion dogs. We believe in Talus. We worship Talus. And we'll keep worshipping Talus. Treaties be damned. Politics be damned. Okay. Thelmar abduction squats be damned. Huh. <sighs> Aren't there any threats to your safety up here? Sometimes. But nothing we can't handle. Wolves, bears, the occasional troll, that sort of thing. Though recently, we've been in a bit over our heads. Bandits, you know the sword. They came through here and took my amulet of Telus. That sucks. It means a lot to me. I imagine it does. Next time you're exploring the wilds, mind keeping an eye out for it? We'll reward you as best we can within our means. Yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Thank you very much. Bandits probably have it stashed in one of their hideouts. Great, that's helpful. Um, it's weird that that wasn't like a prerequisite to convincing her to tone down their outward acts of worship, though. I, I, I imagine that's... Like, maybe it'll it'll up my relationship level with her and help me convince her later. I'm going to try to convince her now, though. Um, see, the reason I'm out here is because Captain Adius from Bruma sent me. Your Talos worship is starting to cause issues. Sending someone to stop us worshipping Talos? Has the captain gone mad? I always considered the captain a man of honor. A man of tolerance. Someone who refused to be a puppet to the Thelmer and the shameful demands. Why such a sharp change in the captain's outlook? What could he, or you, possibly say that would lead us to renounce the god hero of mankind? Uh, he doesn't want you to stop worshipping Talos. He wants you to be more subtle about it. I see. That's... Well, it's more likely to happen than asking us to renounce a divine. But why should we live in shame of our faith? Not exactly what I said to do. Um, if you don't, the Thalmor will tighten their grip on all of Bruma. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Very well, then. We will lay low for the time being. Let Aedius know we're sorry for any problems that has caused for him, or may cause him. He's a good man, clearly. Any other guard captain would have handed us over to the Thalmor. No questions asked. Yeah. Alright, so that was easier than I expected. We are a simple folk up here. But the wines forbid you cross us. Yeah, you seem tough. She seemed pretty tough too. Like these these three seem like pretty tough characters, honestly. I just have no doubt that if they attacked me I'd be able to deal with it. You know, since I've got, like, a whole party with me. Tell me about yourself. I'm not going to tell you my life story. You think I'm a fool? Mm, sorry, all right. If the Thalmor know who my family are, they'll march them off in the middle of the night. Use them to try intimidate me. I'm a Talos worshipper. I follow Era. That's all there really is to it. All right, fair enough. What's your role up here? I am the muscle. By looking intimidating, I scare away bandits. Those that have the brains their mother gave them <laughs> at any rate. And if any bandits or wildlife or Thalmor decide to try their luck, I send them swiftly onto Arcade. 
Cool. If you sell us out to the Thalmor, I'll paint the Cheraz with your insides. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do that. Here are you? I'm Crucius Rodlin, sworn to tell us. Cool. Uh, tell me about yourself as much as you're willing to. I prefer not to say too much. You gotta walk on eggshells nowadays. That said, I used to live in Bruma. Narrowly evaded abduction. Heard Armion and his agents whispering outside my window. Hmm. Ira and I, we escaped in the night through the Bruma caverns. Bartram let us use his house as a quick escape route. Good thing the guard captain didn't know about the trap door in Bartram's house, or I'm sure Armion would have too. Those were dark days. Dark days. Having to worship Tiber Septim in secret? <laughs> Those old merry dogs will get what's coming to them eventually. Yeah, they will. If I have anything to say about it, at least. <sighs> as me as a player, not Johan as a character. At this point, Johan hasn't made any commitment to trying to take down the Thalmor. That that sounds insane to him. Um, yeah, I mean, fair enough, Do not forsake the god of man. I don't plan to. Don't, I'm not really worshipping worship him, though, either. The congregation. I'm just a... Yeah, I can't sleep in any of these. That's what I what I figured. All right, let's um, let's see. That looks like that other one. Maybe I can get up there tonight and get it done, and then teleport back to Bruma uh, before I get too tired. Let's let's hope. This should be fairly easy, unless there's like a big bandit, um, big bandit camp or or goblin camp or something in this cave. This is a really bleak area, but I just I'm, I just want to stop for a second and really talk about how well landscaped it is. Because it, it's bleak, and like obviously walking this path over and over again um, many times for various quests and stuff would get boring eventually. But like assuming that you're somebody who uses fast travel or you don't mind that kind of thing as much, so you don't use fast travel and you're okay with making the same journey a couple of times. This is landscaped well enough that despite how bleak it is, despite how unappealing it is, it's still interesting. It's interesting enough to hold your attention as you're kind of walking around doing your thing. All right, since this is a new zone, let's quick save, because my paranoia has actually been justified today. Let's head inside. All right. Um weapon out just in case. Doesn't look as big as I expected it to be. And the quest marker is right there. Alright. Weird. Maybe this will be failed. What if I what did I Well well, if it isn't another adventurer, come to return the heirloom back to its rightful owner. Where the hell well, were you? I'm afraid the heirloom isn't real. You're a damned fool. Though I can't say all that first. Looks like you okay, just wanted to Okay, I get well what's going on head. here. Now tell me, are you gonna sink or swim? Depends. Which one involves killing you? I'm someone that isn't afraid to kill people that ask tedious questions. Now listen. Now I have a dagger on my hip. It's laced with a deadly homebrew done making gotchen. Okay. Luminous Rusla, Violet Cobrinus, and a little bit of brown Vanamantium ore. All you need to know is that once this poison gets into your veins, well, I wouldn't be investing in any of your business ventures. <laughs> so I suggest you cooperate with me. This guy is already a very interesting character. How did you sneak up on me like that? A combination of stealth training, experience, and not being a clumsy elf. Fair enough. That. And I kept a few ah, man, there, there, to my okay. satchel as a fallback. Now, I think it's time we got down to business. So what is it you want from me? Nothing too hard. Child's play. Good thing for you, eh? Oh, I'm gonna kill you so, so hard, man. I have that needs delivering to a certain dummy lady in Bruma. Quite the damsel, that one. No, and don't ask what's inside. None of your business. So, you mean the woman who sent me here? Well, if you're going to put it so bluntly, I'm afraid you've disappointed me. I was hoping we could keep the foreplay going a little longer. 
What is it with all the vague sexual references today? She's an associate of mine, stone-hearted bitch. Suits me perfectly. Oh, man. The goods, and you'll never hear from me again. Betray me, and our fledgling love will be short. But I love this character, though, by the Not way. He's, he's fantastic. Is. How's that for bittersweet romance, eh? I'll let you work out the right choice. Probably not a good idea. Tell me, my friend, was that the right choice or not? <sighs> he had some good stuff on him. Holy crap. Yeah, okay, sure. His, um... Poison didn't do as much damage as I expected it to, either. Jesus. Where are my friends? Are they not... Not here? Maybe this quest keeps them from being able to come in. <laughs> what all else do you have? Stale lettuce, rune book... Crap I... I care literally nothing about. <laughs> Silver's relatively valuable. It's not really worth it for the carry weight. It's up here. Um, emerald. I'm trying to get the freaking emerald. Amethyst. Sapphire. Got all the crystal gems up here, huh? Mm, looks like he uh, runs a whole criminal enterprise out of here almost, considering how many valuables he's got. Alright, let's uh, see just how complete this quest is. Uh, next time, we will head back to Bruma and um, see if we can tell Adius not just about our luck with the Talos worshippers, but about this woman who is apparently smuggling crap into and out of his city. It's going to be super interesting. Until then, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of this Let's Play, because I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, please help me out, like, share, and subscribe, and of course, uh, leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. Either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.